So you're probably tuning in here thinking this is HQ quality. Well, it's not. Just kidding. I literally just have to turn on the lights. Yay! It's as bright as can be. Literally only a few bucks. Got it at a dollar store. Anyways, today's a tutorial or kind of some tips and some tutorial on some furniture in living rooms. I kind of want to give you some tips on how to build some living rooms. And we got Spider-Man with us today. Yo, yo, I'm the yo, bro. Better subscribe to the Gakko Vibes. I think I can't. <sighs> so sorry. Just mixed it with, um, one of my other rap songs. Anyways, yo, yo, I'm the yo, bro. Better subscribe because I got good vibes. I do great mocks and I do great tours. Don't forget that I do lots more. Now you know what, uh, oh, oh, you should be subscribed to the yo, bro. Shall we begin? So, first of all, what makes a good living room? Well, color-coordinated walls. Now, I know a lot of the time walls can be very hard, you know, bricks and buying all these bricks and what bricks can you buy and just all this different stuff is hard to, can be hard to get color-coordinated. My suggestion is then just make stripes. If you can't do, you know, that, then just use stripes. And even if you can, you might still want to use stripes. And you can use even, you can find ways to use, like, bricks like these to be like the house number, or maybe they just like someone vandalized on their thing. Again, the house number. Um, a recommendation I have for kind of living rooms is that they should have probably at least two rooms, at least in this size, two small ones, or just one big one, maybe kind of in the middle. Now, this is just kind of my idea, but I think living, I think it should at least have two living rooms. I think that's a very good idea. Um, you don't have to do this if you're just trying to make a spur it for stop motion, but if you are aren't you're just trying to make it for a good thing i suggest at least one brick i mean at least one stud of outdoorsy stuff so like plants and dirt and different things that looks like a whopper looks with the whopper logo anyways so do different stuff like that and my lamp fell that's probably what you saw hiding behind the room um but i would suggest what do you need in a living room Spider-Man! No, I'm joking. You don't really need Spider-Man. Sorry. Didn't, don't. I don't want to offend any Spider-Man lovers. He's cool. Anyways, the point is, you should probably have a TV. I know not every living room has a TV. It's just kind of, I guess, a stereotype or something. But I think you should probably have a TV in your Lego living rooms. Now, of course, I also suggest getting an end table. Kind of similar to, not like, something kind of like, that no, I know things aren't really working right now. I'm gonna show you how to build them, they'll be very nice. Um, definitely a lamp. You probably want a lamp, so I'm just gonna put that in the corner. I'm not really gonna you know worry too much about it. And so that's what we have there. But I also suggest getting a chair. Oh, yeah, let's just put the plants back. Um, and then of course, decorate it with some random little things that you find in the living room, like a game console, maybe a plant, maybe a radio. And, of course, you probably want at least one minifigure. Anyways, also, one last tip before we get rolling. Or maybe not one last, but another tip before we get rolling. Uh, modular, I think, is always good. And I think focus more of your money on bricks than on plates. Because if it is modular, you can just take the plates off. And they're thinner, and so you're probably not going to see them as well. Um, but comment down below, do you think you should spend more money on the bricks for the walls or the plates for the roofs? Let's get building. So right now, I'm going to start with the chair. I'm going to kind of, I know I am going to kind of rush through it. I do apologize. But if you want to learn a better tutorial on the top of it, it's already, um, I've already made that on my chair tutorial video. So what you kind of want to do is get two of those pieces and then stack tiles on the ends along with connecting them with this kind of spinny piece. When you have that, it's time to build the other stuff. So get a one by two plate and then a one by two plate with a bar attachment. By adding this funky piece, we're almost done, but not quite. Now we have to add this clip piece and uh, then some other pieces. That will go right there and then this will seal that off. And I did do that, a game console with just two pieces, the little already game console, 
and this a uh, printed tile doesn't have to be this but some printed tile will be fine and there spider-man can now play ps4 spider-man ironic isn't it this tv stand was also already shown how to build but i will uh, to show to build so then you know get the snot brick and then you get um these this formation you do that Boom, and then you get make the reverse and connect it on the other side. Things are looking pretty good, but not good enough because we still have other things that we need to connect. So then get a 1x6 plate. Attach it onto there. You can get two, um, you can already get two plates to put as movies or ga video games, different things. And then get tiles. Preferably, these should all be different colors. To it just, I think, to me, represents different movies and just easier to wrap my head around and that stuff. Get a jumper because that's kind of what we need to do. And for the newly assembled TV, you want to get a clip piece, and then you want to get some other pieces like a bar, and then get a one by two by four rather plate with pl one by two plates assorted in this fashion stick that and then i just put mine right there this is just one of the many ways to build a lamp and an end table then get a lamp that i've already shown two times how to build um how to build in my how to build four four, four table five tables maybe and then by stacking these jumpers, jumper plates, and a tile, and making it kind of messy, you can just like clip it like there, or even like that. And then you just, I just put mine in the far corner. Start with a jumper and a tile, and then get one of these really cool arch pieces and. Um, do that. You can also get another um, arch piece and let's turn it over. Oh my gosh, there's more arch pieces along with a plate. And once that is in, you can just rest it on that tile. As you can probably see, it's the, the radio is just modified brick with two antennas. And then once it's like that you can kind of do just that get a bucket if you want to make a flower pot and then in that little hole you can just place a stud and then in you can start to make the flourish spot by getting a two by two circular plate and then by f taking different flowers and different colors and different shapes and sizes and um, just by kind of doing this, you will have a little cute little flower pot. Finally, you can add a mega block grill. I just think these look the best for the remotes because they have some texture, but they're not in completely, they don't completely have holes um, like some other things. And then you can place it on an angle with the jumpers and with tiles on the ground. If you want to do that, you don't have to. You can do studs. I have It will even look very more nicer. You can also adjust the antennas and different things like that. Oh, and yes, this always falls out. So you might want to think of a different way to do that if you don't like that happening. All that's left to do is get your minifigure and just place him like that and have him watch the TV. And I know it's kind of squished and crowded. Um, you might have to move the end table a bit, but this is just a quick little tutorial video. And yeah, I have to move the end table. Anyways, sorry the video was so long. Don't forget to subscribe and bye.